So you fired your gun and a malfunction has happened. Do you know what to do? Well, stick around and we're going to show you. Hey guys, Trey here with Ghost Tactical here at the range. As you can see, beautiful day to be at the range. Actually, any day to be at the range is a beautiful day. But we're here to do a quick video in a response to one of our viewers, Tony M. So Tony, if you're watching, here's your response. Uh, Tony asked in a comment to go over the Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3 malfunctions. That's very, very simple, guys. It, it's, it sounds harder than it really is. Uh, but first, let's go over what Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3 are. Type 1 is basically a failure to fire. For some reason, you pull a trigger and nothing happens. It could be a multitude of things, whether it's a bad mag, didn't chamber it properly, the magazine's not seated properly. It, it could be a lot of different things, but basically you pull a trigger and nothing happens. Type 2 is what we're going to call, I call it a smokestack, okay? And what happens is, is you fire your, your gun and the casing doesn't fully eject from the gun. It kind of sticks there in the slide, okay? Once again, it's not a big deal. You just gotta learn how to clear it and move on quickly and effectively. Now, type three is a little bit different, okay? Type three is um, when you get a double feed, okay? A double feed is, is when you fire your weapon and instead of one round being chambered, two rounds comes up and it's not able to, uh, to close and, and slide lock properly. Bad things can happen at that point. So uh, we're going to go through all three of these types out on the range and talk about real quickly how to deal with them. Okay, now remember, in a competition, if you're shooting competition, you obviously want to try to get this done as quickly as possible because your time is your score. In the real world scenario, yes. Do you want to get it done quickly? Absolutely, because you don't know where the threat is or what's going to happen to that threat while you're doing that. But no matter what the situation is, always, always, always remember to be safe Make sure you, you maintain good muzzle awareness and you're reloading and you're, re, and you're fixing your gun as quickly as you can while being safe. If that means going very, very slow, then by all means, go slow. All right, make sure that you and everyone around you are safe when you're dealing with a type one, type two or three malfunction. So guys, here we go. Okay, so we're out here on the range and we're going to go through uh, type one, type two and type three malfunctions. Like we said previously, type one is you pull the trigger, nothing happens. So what's gonna happen is we're here, pull the trigger, nothing happens. So what do we do very quickly? We tap, rack, assess again, and pull the trigger. We're here, nothing happens. Tap, rack, assess, and shoot. A type 2 malfunction is when the casing has not fully ejected from the uh, slide um, when you fire it. So uh, it's going to look something like this. All right, not a big deal. We're going to do the same exact steps that we did for type 1. We're going to tap, rack, reassess, and fire. So we fired, we have a type 2 malfunction. We're not going to freak out. We're going to tap, rack, Assess and fire. Okay, so we've gone through type one and type two. Now type three malfunction gets a little bit more in depth. It is usually what happens when it's a double feed. And what that means is, is you pull the trigger and instead of one round being chambered into the pistol, you have two rounds being forced in there. Typically what that happens to do is there's something wrong internally with the gun Typically, it might be a spring in the magazine. So what's going to happen is in this point, we're still going to do at the end, the tap, rack, assess, and fire, but there are two other steps beforehand that we've got to take care of. The first is we want to lock it, okay? We're going to then rip the magazine out. The reason why we rip the magazine out is, is if there are springs attached in here, we want to make sure that they are not stuck on something. At that point, we're going to rack, rack it several times, make sure everything is clear. Then we're gonna reinsert another magazine and then continue to fire. All right, so here we go. 
All right, so we're ready to go here. We're getting ready to solve this problem, type three malfunction. So we have fired, boom. We notice, oh no, there's a double feed. Something's gone wrong. <coughs> Immediately, we're going to lock it back. Then we're going to rip the magazine out just in case there is a spring. At this point, we're gonna rack it several times, okay, to make sure that we're clear. Insert, tap, rack, assess, and shoot. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of the type one, type two, and type three malfunction. Once again, guys, they happen a lot, depending upon the ammo you use, the gun you use. It doesn't matter whether it's high, high level or low level or low cost or high cost. It makes no difference. Malfunctions are going to happen. It's a way of the world in the gun community. So now that we learn how to do this, we can fix them effectively and efficiently. So guys, thank you once again for watching this video. Make sure to check in to uh, Tactical Tuesday every Tuesday night at 7 Central, streaming live on YouTube and on GunChannels.com. Check out my website, www.GhostTactical.us. Here you'll have the links to all my ventures, including Vidme, Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff, including my online store. If you'd like to support the, uh, the channel, we love to see some ghost tactical stuff being worn around the streets. Also, if you want to help support the channel, we would love to have you as a patron. You can find us at www.patreon.com backslash ghost tactical. Um, guys, any help that you can give us would be much appreciated. Um, if you just want to enjoy the videos and watch, have fun. We love having you do that. If you do want to help monetarily support the channel, we love your support as well. So, guys, thank you for all that are supporting us and continue to watch. If you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And, guys, until next time, Simplify. Hey, guys, Ghost here. Thanks again for watching this video. Remember, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Until next time, happy shooting.